Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Common Scenarios Infinite Impermanence Okay, so in this video I'm going to be talking about infinite impermanence and the scenarios that happen with infinite impermanence. I'll be using the AI, you know, to rule this and that's all I've got to say. So let's get on with the rest of this video. I activate infinite impermanence. It's time as I use the effect of perform a pal skulkerbat joker. I don't think you can activate that card from hand. That is correct. Infinite impermanence can only be activated from hand if you control no cards. Otherwise you have to set it and activate it like a normal trap card. I activate Magical Midbreaker Field. It's time, as I normal summon Deerzu the Orcist Mech Knight. Not so fast, as I respond with infinite impermanence. You can't do that. I believe your trap is useless at this moment. That, my friends, makes all the difference. Because of Magical Midbreaker Field. Infinite impermanence can target a monster thus its effect will not resolve and just fizzles out. As it needs to successfully a target a monster to negate its effect. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! monster. My fate, right, is in your hands.